Hey guys, welcome back to Developer Event Manager. In this series, we are talking about the calendar add-on that brings a calendar functionality to our Developer Event Manager plugin and extends our user experience as a event listing website. So last time I showed you a, a little bit feature overview and today we're going to explore that feature in real life. So I have also showed you how to install and activate this plugin. So without wasting our time, let's go to our front-end site to explore the plugin and its functionalities. So at the front end side, we need to go to our event listing page to view the calendar at the event listing page. So by default, when you have installed the calendar plugin, it will show the calendar over here instead of the events that being listed in your website. We can of course change that by clicking these buttons over here. So these are our standard layout changing buttons. So if we click this, we will see the events in a grid format, but I have added only one event for this demonstration. and. If we click this, we will see them in a list format like this. And then we can go back to the calendar view by clicking over here. So in here we have the full featured calendar that we can select date and year from to quick navigate. Then we can go to next month and previous month using these buttons. Then we will see the actual calendar over here with our weekdays over here. And the current day is highlighted by a bluish tint over here. And the events that are being listed in the website are also visible in the calendar itself. So we have our event that scheduled on 5th of October that we can see over here at 5th of October. So we have the event name. If we hover over it, we will see a pop-up style card that shows the event banner, our event title, our event description, and the schedule, like start date, end date, and the respective time. We can click on it to go visit the event details page. So that's the single event details page. So with our regular data over here, right? So let's go back to the calendar once again. So this scenario is pretty useful. Suppose you have like a ton of events on your website. Don't worry. If you have multiple events on a single date, they will also show up over here. But back to the what I was saying. So suppose you have a multiple events listed on your website on different dates and time. They can quickly navigate by using the dates over here and find the event they desire or they're looking for. So that's a wholesome experience for the users on your website. So this is the event listing page with the calendar available via our calendar add-on. Feel free to check our previous video how to install it and activate it. We will have a future video explaining about the short codes and the widget available with this calendar add-on. We will also have a video where we can modify or override the template file for this calendar add-on as well. So this being a short video explaining the calendar add-on and its functionalities on the event listing page. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for coming along. I'll catch you in the next one.